Many of our calves that are experiencing neonatal calf diarrhea or scours, they don't actually die from the viruses or the bacteria, the protozoa that, that cause scours. They die from the resulting dehydration, electrolyte imbalances, and in some cases, acidosis. That calf will appear clinically normal until they're about 6% dehydrated. Once that calf becomes dehydrated, the eyeball might start to recess back into the head. Another clinical test that we use frequently is a skin tint test. So you can pinch the skin right over the neck area, make a tint, and then measure the amount of seconds it takes for that skin to return to normal. So based on these two parameters, you can estimate the percent dehydration. In that six to eight percent range, this is what we would consider mildly dehydrated. They may still be up ambulating around and nursing, but they're not quite keeping up with their fluid requirements. Providing oral fluids with electrolyte solution can help that calf make a full recovery. A moderately dehydrated calf we would consider in that eight to 10% range, these calves are starting to become clinically depressed. They're spending a lot more time lying down. Uh, they have a prolonged skin tint test. Their eyeball is recessed more. And so we really need to maintain oral fluids quite frequently throughout the day in order to keep them hydrated. After those calves become about 10% dehydrated, these are calves that we consider severely dehydrated. At that point, it's important to involve your veterinarian. We often see dehydration, electrolyte dis disturbances, and acidosis all happening simultaneously. One of the really clear indicators of a calf that's experiencing acidosis is when they get up, they'll stagger around or they fall down very easily. And when you chuck, check the suckle reflex on those calves, it's actually quite weak or it's not rhythmic at all. Because these calves are experiencing dehydration, there's often not adequate blood flow. And so these calves are very susceptible to hypothermia. Those calves are not perfusing properly, which means they're not getting oxygen distributed throughout their body. Frequently check rectal temperature and make sure that you're providing warmth in some other way if they're not able to maintain an adequate body temperature. Most of our electrolyte solutions are designed to replace the electrolytes that are leaving the body very quickly in an animal that's experiencing diarrhea. The main one would be sodium, um, but also chloride and potassium. There's a few other ingredients that you may see on your electrolyte powders as well. Uh, one we commonly look for is acetate or propionate. These are ingredients that will help that calf uh, retain sodium and water and correct those electrolyte imbalances and potentially the acidosis as well. All electrolyte powders have very low energy compared to milk. So throughout the day, it's important to alternate milk and electrolyte feedings, and that can either be from the dam herself or from a milk replacer product. Most of these scours outbreaks can actually be prevented by working with your veterinarian on nutrition, uh, strategic calving pasture management, and other disease mitigation strategies. <laughs>